What's up you guys? It's your girl Re, and today let's do this a little differently. That's right, today we're going to Disney World's Magic Kingdom. I was so excited to come to Magic Kingdom, especially during this pandemic, because I've heard it's been empty. Everyone was right. I have never gotten through security that fast. When you park and first walk in, they are screening right at the gate. This means that if somebody has a fever, they're not even getting past that first <laughs> gate. Now this was at 11 o'clock on a Wednesday. If you've been to Disney World or seen clips, I promise you this is beyond empty. Nobody. Wow. We got to see the princesses walking back. <laughs> and we even saw the tail end of a parade. Now, if you notice in the previous clips, none of the performers had masks on and neither did the princesses. I believe this is because they're performers, but everybody else in the park had masks on. This is crazy, huh? Now, this is Main Street. This is what you see when you walk right into the park. This is usually packed. Look at this picture. This is from when I first went to Disney World in January. Now look at the video that I'm currently filming. This is around the same spot. The crowds are completely different. I imagine this is what it looks like during magic hour, which is where certain pass holders and Disney stayers come in an hour before the park opens to the public. We headed straight for the new Mine Train ride or Seven Dwarves, if that's what you want to call it. The wait time for this ride is usually about two to three hours, depending upon the day. And we got through in 30 minutes. Here's some clips from the ride and walking through the line. It's so cold in here, it feels great, guys. Now, as you can see, there are shields on either side of the line and there are six feet markers telling you to please wait here. That way you can maintain that social distancing. Now, because this was my first time riding it, I didn't take you guys on the full ride, but here are some clips inside. We then started heading over to Haunted Mansion. And I noticed that usually this area of the park is always super congested. This is because this is where Maybe. It's a Small World Can ride is at. This is in line for Haunted Mansion. And as you can see, we still have those six foot social distancing markers. Oh yeah. Oh 
Wait! I've got it! Burial! Of course! I was able to film the whole ride of Haunted Mansion, but a lot of it was so dark I couldn't even see it. So here's a few pieces from that. This is walking through Frontierland. I'm gonna get characters up at the top. To the bear. Mm -hmm. And we caught another parade too. Next ride up was Splash Mountain. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every ride we went on, there were always safety measures in place. Tons of hand sanitizer everywhere, shields in the line, and also the six foot distance markers. Because Splash Mountain is a wet ride, I did not film anything on there, but this is Pirates of the Caribbean and I did on this. Yes, Pirates of the Caribbean does have water, but it's not nearly as crazy as Splash Mountain is. Watch, like when you see them? <laughs> they put a lot into the chair. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know cheese. It looks real. Like... <laughs> Help! <laughs> 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 Help! 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 Yeah. 
you lily livered lover! Strike your feathers, dear. Show them your spot. And we even got to see Captain Jack Sparrow today. And then thoroughly, cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> of course, we had to stop and get a dull whip. But in the background of some of the clips that I've taken, you can hear that they're making announcements, which were reminders of safety measures. We also got to see Gaston, and if you listen closely, he definitely insulted me. But it's okay, because that's his character. And another mini parade. Now, I feel like I have to say, Disney World usually doesn't do this many parades. And I feel like they're really taking advantage of how less the crowds are right now and breaking out all the things that they have to attract people to come back in. At least all the times that I've gone, I have not seen this many, many parades or parades at all. But I loved it. Check out the new paint on the castle. Now, I will say that it was very hot, you guys. It was 106 degrees and with this mask on, oh my goodness. Woo! Just stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. That's all I could say. Last ride was Space Mountain, and this is Futureland. No, you didn't. Two, three. Literally no one. No one here. Now, Space Mountain is not a ride that you can take your phone out on. Trust me, you don't want to do that. But here's walking through the line. Free from high blood pressure, heart and neck problems, motion sickness. <laughs> Again, we had those six foot social distancing markers. Both the Disney app and the time outside so that it would be 30 minutes to get through and we got through in like 10. As always, the ride was so much fun. And here is the walk out. <laughs> On our way out, we talked to ducks. But uh, there are no people here, really. Uh huh. Yes. And you, sir? Uh huh. And you? Thanks for talking. <laughs> now, I would have walked through all the shops, okay. however, guys, it was so hot. We had already been there for about four or five hours, and I was ready to go. But don't worry, because I will definitely be back soon. And I will definitely show you if there's any difference in the crowds and if there's any difference in the lines or safety measures. Here's us saying goodbye and watch little Daisy Duck over there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so cute. That was adorable. And then boom, this guy fell and I felt really bad. And I totally forgot that I was filming, but I was filming. But don't worry, he was totally fine. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one when we do Hollywood Studios, Disney's Epcot, and Animal Kingdom. Bye!